Hello everyone, my name is Far or Fire Zerleth in game, um, and today I'd like to talk about my Far Kara guide, which uh, I'll be introducing to my YouTube channel over the coming weeks. It is my intention to hold a number of, let's call them lectures, uh, with regards to multiple topics uh, and Kara gameplay in the game World of Warships. Uh, so before I, you know, give an overview of what you might expect in the upcoming episodes, who am I? Well. Uh, my in-game name, as I said, is Far Zeleth. I'm an aircraft carrier player predominantly. I play for the Fleet Omni on the EU server. I like to play a little bit on the North American server as well. Uh, I've played the rank seasons, um, all of the major seasons, excluding the, the first inter uh, test one, with aircraft carrier getting ranked one and aircraft carrier uh, in every season. Uh, normally my win rate, which is kind of really the only baseline people can judge by uh, on how well you do in a ranked season, has been exceptionally high in the top 10s, top 20s, I think I had top 2s and top 5s worldwide. Um, I play as the main uh, aircraft carrier player for Omni when they do competitive events, uh, things like King of the Sea, that type of uh, stuff. Sometimes you might see me streaming aircraft carrier stuff and like playing with you know people such as Flam and whatnot. So anyway, that's me. If you want to go find me, you can just look up Farah Zeleth, same name as this YouTube channel on uh, the World of Warships EU or NA if you want to have a look at some stats. Uh, but as for uh, the carrier guide, I'm aware that there's a dearth of information out there on the internet, some of it accurate, some of it isn't. So I've tried to uh, combine a topic list in a structured manner which would be helpful from anybody that's new to advanced people on how to use aircraft carriers and all aspects of the game. So without further ado, let's bring this up. So this is mainly an introductory video explaining what I hope to cover in the upcoming episodes. So here we see that initially I'm going to talk uh, in the upcoming episode about general CV information. So what's a carrier, the difference between the United States Navy and Imperial Japanese, uh, you know, what nations to pick and why, the play styles, what's expected from you and your carrier, matchmaking, how it works, the interface, the controls, what the alt attack mode is, strafing, manual bombing, for example, the difference between the nations, ship AA, how it works, how it's expected, um, defensive fire, how it works, the difference between cruisers, destroyers, aircraft carriers, difference between playing tier 4 or 5 carriers currently as of 6.4 versus playing tier 6 and above carriers, what it's like to play in divisions. In the second episode, we hope to cover uh, commander skills as an overview. It's a breakdown from a carrier's point of view. What are the carrier skills you want to take? Uh, what ones you don't want to pick? Some build templates, some kind of options for different ships. Sort of generic ideas where the trade-offs uh, end up coming in episode three. Um, we are hoping to go over, uh, and probably in two parts, uh, one for Japanese, one for US Navy. Uh, basically, how do you set up your ship? What are the ship setups? What does the captain build for specifically just that ship? So we'll go into the flight control selection, the strengths and weaknesses, the number of planes for waves, the exact plane camper type, play style, module upgrades, consumables, the exterior stuff like camouflage, signal flags, that type of thing, and obviously the commander uh, skill builds and maybe what kind of uh, kind of play style you can expect from it. Following on from that, in the fourth episode, um, I hope to cover uh, basic tactics such as general maneuvers, what do you do in the map, what are the enemy ships in class and tiers, how you use the minimap with situational awareness, what do you do when your plane or ship detected, uh, plane locations, you know, danger of AA, spotting, flight paths, that type of stuff, how you, you use it, your ship position and the terrain, you know, can be shot, can be bombed, that type of stuff, uh, managing the map, using the different zoom in options, getting the grand picture, you know, coming in close for bombing reading the map, setting what to do, when to do it, a bit about communication, uh, you know, and, and as you can read, you know, certain elements that are very kind of simplistic elements uh, to carry gameplay. Following on that, in the fifth episode, I hope to cover uh, plane control. Now, I, when I say I hope to cover, I mean that the episodes could be very long because they're more lecture based rather than video based and me showing you what's happening as and when I might make uh, video replays uh, or have video to support what I'm talking about, I'll probably interject them into the videos themselves with like links and that type of element so that you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, but if I was to make videos uh, with a lot of source material so I could show do this because of X or Y or Z, it would mean I'd have to get hundreds of videos and whatnot. So I wanted to do it in more of a lecture format and then provide supplementary uh, backup stuff, you know, as and when you see it. Um, anyway, so plane control, um, we're talking about the launch order, uh, you know, taking off, cancelling, taking off, scouting, fighter micro, just, you know, average things, nothing too advanced, 
uh, when to strafe, when not to strafe, you know, how to protect your bombers, friendly fleet, target selection, how to actually bomb, you know, how you, you can generally approach something. And then we have the huge topic of advanced tactics, which um, I hope to get into at some point. It's really just depending on when I've got free time, but I'm going to grow scroll through slowly so that you can read these yourselves. We're looking at, you know, advanced bombing, unvoidable strikes, approaching players from behind, you know, uh, from behind the camera to stuff like that. Uh, you know, cross dropping, how to evade if you're being cross dropped is a useful thing. Uh, blind attacking smoke targets, forcing ship turns, working with other people to make them force broadside, that type of stuff. Um, we've got things about like uh, doing multiple dots and damages over time, lures, bait, strafes, advanced fire control, neutralizing enemy AA. You can read this all by yourself and you can see as I'll go really, really slowly. Uh, these are topics that I wrote down uh, mainly along the lines of what would you like to know? What can I teach you? I asked some of my fellow um, fleet mates what would they like to know for a lot of fellow carrier players, what would they think would be in a good and a structured order? So we've kind of got them all listed here, um, you know, explaining what they are, what it is. So for example, advanced exit strafes, you know, the first wave tags an enemy fighter, the second wave comes in and strafes the tagged planes, but the first tag wave doesn't exit strafe. So he loses a plane, unless you're the Saipan, doesn't lose a plane and the you know second fire comes in and does a whole bunch of damage to the enemy planes that type of stuff um we got some uh, bomber escorting advanced scouting flight deck management sniping carriers surviving snipes what to do when you're bottom tier what do you do when everything goes bad you know so there's a lot of topics that we'd like to cover talk about them what do you do how do you do it um and possibly if you know provided we get the opportunity to provide kind of video evidence or support to kind of show you it, rather than just me talking about it and then finally the difference in gameplay that one can come across from random ranked and competitive gameplay uh me personally i played a lot of random with carriers i play in divisions with carriers i have played a lot of team uh, gameplay with carrier i've played a lot of ranked in carrier um through seasons uh, well all the major seasons uh, i've got myself like the black for example but playing only carrier getting to uh, rank ones and then obviously competitive gameplay which i do a lot with on the in a variety of leagues and competitions you know where we win sometimes and sometimes we come you know, fairly high into the competition anyway that is it for my uh farah Karaga introduction uh, i hope i've outlined clearly enough what i intend to kind of uh, convey and you know educate you over the coming weeks when i do these episodes if there's anything you want to know more about or maybe you want something to be covered in detail that you haven't seen in this sort of uh, brief scroll down let me know in the comments below and um i'll see you next time guys bye